Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the case of Gypsy Rose and D.B. Blanchard. I'll be breaking down clips, I'll be putting my own opinion and I will be discussing stuff I've researched from the internet. I hope you enjoy this video and I don't mean no, this is a disclaimer, not, I don't mean no harm to anyone. I'm just putting my opinion and showing some facts that they said that had taken place and please subscribe to this channel who are they didi blanche was born as claudina near the gulf coast in 1967 and she grew up with her family um gold in the golden meadow and she was one of five children gypsy rose is a daughter of didi and she was born in july the 27 1991 and she was born in Golden Meadow. The world met Gypsy and Dee Dee through their social media and their charity fundraising that they do for her health. I really didn't think any abuse was going on. Um, it's like when you're abused that you live that way your whole life. You don't really know that you're being abused. You don't know any different. Blanchard, portrayed by her mother as a chronically ill girl, unable to walk with that signature baby voice. Dee Dee had been making her daughter pass herself off as younger than her age, uh, pretending to be disabled and have chronic illnesses. And she also had unnecessary surgeries and took a lot of medication mother, Dee Dee, was actually the one who was sick with the psychological disorder Munchausen syndrome by proxy, where parents seeks attention through their child's made-up illnesses. Controlled Gypsy through physical abuse, Dee Dee and Gypsy scam entitled them to get um, support from a various charity. Um, meanwhile, they were faking the illness that Gypsy had. Happy endings are not just in fairy tales, they're real. How we got here. There was a post that popped up that said the bee is dead. Followed by a second post that said they slashed that pig and they violated her daughter while she screamed and she screamed so loud. And everyone on the in everyone that knew them or on support the page was thinking, oh maybe they got hacked. So reading through the post, um a concerned neighbour early in the evening um called the police um she report that Didi might have been fallen victim of foul play the police was able to get a warrant to be able to search the property when they went into the property they found um Didi has deceased um gypsy was nowhere to be found um, her wheelchair was there and her medication was still in the house so the police was worried that she was that she was kidnapped by someone i don't know what's the truth from my no one in the neighborhood could comprehend how anyone would want to harm Dee Dee blanchard and her handicapped daughter this is the house where claudinia blanchard was found stabbed to death well, the crime scene tape is up here still for a third day in a row as investigators continue collecting evidence here. But new shock today in this close-knit neighborhood for all those who knew the Blanchards as wonderful people. So the police, after was when they were worried that she's been kidnapped, um, that kind of changed rapidly as the police found her in her boyfriend's house. Um, Nicholas, she looked healthy from what they see. She wasn't in the wheelchair. They said she didn't have any physical and mental issues that what her mom claimed. So what had happened was Gypsy and her boyfriend planned to drop her mom. They planned it out. They had messes, messages through Facebook. That the police later found. It's 
So what they did was he came down, they dropped the mum, they went to a motel. From the motel, they took the bus at the Greyhound station and they went to his house. But before they did that, they posted the, the weapon they used and the gloves to Nicholas' house. So they the police later on found them. I think within a day or two, found them. There was a big standoff. And then the police took them in for question once they found, you know, the weapon. Um, they, she kind of denied, denied he was going back and forth. But then he was quite honest and open that, yes, he did do it. It was her idea. Um, she denied it and said she didn't know nothing to nothing about it, nothing to, about it. But she felt like that was the only option she had was to drop her mom. She tried everything else. She tried to run away. She tried, and that was they wanted to get married, have a baby, and they came up with the option. She had no other option but that. So while her mom was sleeping, she let him in. They did what they did. She claimed she was in the bathroom. Nobody knows because nobody was there. But she claimed she was in the bathroom. And she covered her ears and stuff while it was happening. Then they came out. She came out after he told her. And they cleaned up. Had, you know what, because he wanted to do something really disgusting to his mom. To her mom. But then she agreed that he can do it to her. So from that now, they end up in the motel. They read it themselves. The police found that. The police found all the messages on Facebook where they were planning it. But she still denied and denied and denied. She kind of was blaming on him and that he was his, her first love. But from what she said in one of her documentaries, that I, I think she said that she wanted to... Um, you know, she wanted to get married, she always wanted that, but then she, at first, she was acting like she was so, like, low, and her IQ was low, but then it turned out she was more clever than, than Nicholas, because Nicholas had, like, issues, I think it was autism, so, and his brain was like a 16-year-old, but her brain seemed to be a lot more mature sure than his because she's talking about she was always wanting to get married and she wasn't wanting to go do this so maybe you think like did she manipulate nicholas to drop her mom in the end it turned out that she got eight years in no 10 years in prison she did eight and she came out in 2023 ending of 2023 coming in 2024 and Nicholas is facing life without parole. I feel, yes, she's been through a lot. Yes, I understand. But then I'm 50-50 because it's, she did it with him. But he's getting longer than her. She's, he's in prison for his rest of his life. Why didn't she get a longer sentence? than what she had and he's facing the big chunk of it but it was her idea so I kind of feel sorry for him in a way I feel sorry for her because of what she's gone through with her mum and it's scary to think that she's out she doesn't know anything else but manipulation lie and all that now she's married it makes you think like how is it going to turn out because can she manipulate him? Is she manipulating him now that she's out? And she, it makes you think, what is her motive for getting married? It's like, it's like, ooh, yeah, she's having her fairy happy ending that she wanted. But then Ali, then, sorry, Nicholas is not having that opportunity to do that, which I find is quite unfair. And what is her motive? Mother controlled so much. Many people just can't understand 
Why you didn't just get up and walk out of that wheelchair? You weren't sick. It's mental, it's emotional, it's physical. All these reasons combined together is what prevented me from just walking out of that situation. Give us a sense of the fear that you felt. I feared more than anything that if I ran away, that things would be worse for me at home. Gypsy becoming the mastermind in her mother's slaying after a lifetime of abuse. I actually didn't even want her to be killed. I just wanted out of my situation. And I thought that that was the only way out. So I think that there is this judgment on me that I killed my mom because I hated her, and that's not true. At age 23, she pled guilty for the role she played in her mother's brutal murder. Guilty. Stabbed 17 times by Gypsy's then-boyfriend. Now, after nearly nine years in prison, she's a free woman. Are you ready to join the adult world? I am. Um, I think that I have gained enough life experience behind bars.